Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's gonna to be reviewing a Lexus RX 350 F Sport. Before we get in this video, I'm gonna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Lexus here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this RX. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 28 on the highway with power outputs being 275 horsepower and then 317 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see it kind of falls off on either side and then it's flat there in the center, more simplistic with the design. But what's a little bit less simplistic are these headlights. I mean, they look absolutely crazy. And then you guys can see here with the darker trim and then same thing with the grill. There are parking sensors integrated as well as the Lexus logo and a little camera. And putting it all together, I don't know you guys think about the looks of the RX, but I do like this F-Sport package with blacking out elements. Also, we do have fog lights, by the way. Coming around the side here, our timing wheel setup is 235-50-21 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, they're metallic gray, which I think looks, again, really sporty. It looks cool. And then look at the brake caliper. Pretty cool with the coloration there. Notice the fender flares are body painted. We have our F-Sport badge right there and then the mirror cap blacked out with some chrome trim and then you have some blacked out trim here on the door handles too and then here is your full side view with the rx now take a look at the key fob we have our lock and unlock function we got the opening here for the hatch and then the lexus logo there on the back now we've got this spacious cargo area here in the back with the rx we also have a cargo cover built in from the factory and i like the red on the mats here that come with the rx also this looks nice as well and then you do have these buttons right here to throw down the seats so if you need even more storage you got that as well and then when you're all done just press this button and that will lower the hatch right back down really cool tail light design with the light bar and everything that's happening there and then you can see rx350 all-wheel drive down below and then more parking sensors and putting it all together let me know you guys think about the looks here with the rx350 now take a look at the door panel. You can see soft touch here at the top and I like this trim right here. That looks really cool. Mark Levinson sound system. I can see more soft touch down below. Got our window control here. And then that's the door popper. It is electronic with the release. You can pull it twice that way to pull it open manually. And there's like cloth trim inside there. Now take a look at the seats. You guys can see perforated all down the center and red in coloration, which contrasts very nicely to the exterior. Legroom back here is actually pretty good. We also have a little storage pocket. We've got some vents here in the back. We have our own climate zone, USB ports as well. And then headroom back here, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel. Again, soft touch here at the top and then also down below as well. And then same cool trim here. Blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. We've got all of our window controls here with our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. And then again, you got the door popper. F sport here on the front seat and then notice perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments here on the side, and then we got our pedal layout. Gas cap release here with the opening for the trunk, and then our memory seat function. And then, yeah, it's soft touch even there. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You guys can see really nice trim here on either side. We also have paddle shifters there on the back for the eight speed automatic. F Sport logo here at the bottom. Controls for uh, the heads up display actually on either side. We also have stuff like adaptive cruise control and then your regular stocks here on the back. And speaking of that heads up display, there it is. And you guys can see the little keypad. So we've got that on the left side and then on the right side, you've got stuff for like the cruise control. So yeah, they do throw quite a bit into the heads up display. And then down below, we do have a digital gauge cluster here, so we can uh, also do some drive mode stuff. It doesn't do much when you put it in the off-road mode, but when you put it in stuff like the sport mode <laughs> and the eco mode, it does do a little bit of a change. So that's definitely a fun part of this gauge cluster. And then in reverse, you guys can see we've got a 360 camera system resolution with, it's pretty dang good. Uh, trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel, so I like that quite a bit. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's got the shortcut bar. Here's the drive mode select, by the way, in the infotainment system. Um, but yeah, it's easy to use. I mean, 
it responds well, it makes sense. Um, so I think they did a good job with that. And then the controls for the heated and cooled seats and the climate controls are always uh, visible. So that whole system is also really easy to use. And then you got the parking assist button here and then that's just for your little camera view. I don't understand why they do this. That view is <laughs> so weird. Uh, soft touch here on the dash goes along the top. And you just have this like space behind the screen. <laughs> it's just open. It's uh, very interesting. Um, but you guys can see there with that trim, it looks pretty nice. And I guess we'll show the glove box. You can see mine with felt, good storage as well. And then got some USBs right there. And then look at this. Ooh, pretty cool. Got some storage up above there. Um, but we do have a wireless phone charging pad inside, some more USBs. And then got some cup holders right here. And this one is the cup holder that clicks down and then push up to bring it back up. Kind of strange. Uh, shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission, auto hold, stability control, and again, your off-road mode. Auto stop, start, hill descent control, parking uh, brake as well. And then we have the cool center console that goes either way. Always an interesting thing. And I do like the trim here on the side. Makes it feel more premium. And then this does have a camera rear view mirror, as you can see. And then last but not least, we got a center. Oh, also the cloth headliner is very soft. So there's quite a bit of glare, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see the window sticker. But anyways, this is an F Sport 350 total MSRP after all options on this one, 64,825. And do do do. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hoping to see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring and throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, let us set off in the RX 350 F-Sport. Um, and, and just like, you know, every single uh, new set of, uh, or yeah, new set of reviews for a year, I will be reviewing the other packages on the RX. Like the big thing is the other powertrains, right? So uh, the hybrids, I'm sure that it's the one you guys all want to see the most is going to be the 500H version. 450H2 maybe, right? But 500H, that's the one that people always like the most. So first off, seat comfort's really good. So I think that's a big plus. And that's something that's just always a mainstay with Lexus is the seats are always really comfortable. And they hold you in place well too. Good torque out of the turbocharged engine. Yeah, it's, it's getting up and it's moving. Really quick pace. So I think that's a plus. It's quiet too. Just a really comfortable experience overall. Yeah, it's it's I mean Lexus does Lexus does luxury really well if you ask me because they focus on they focus on the the ride comfort, they focus on the seat comfort, you know all the stuff that you'd want with a luxury car. And they kind of add in it seems like that's the main focus and then they add in the sporty stuff after the fact. Which I like because then it, it still has, like this still kind of has a sportier feel to it, but it, it's it's like comfort first, right? We're going to, uh, well, put in sport mode, which I will say, I don't like the fact that drive mode is in the infotainment system. I do find that kind of annoying. But yeah, got in sport mode <laughs> after a few clicks and we're gonna slowly go through this pedal first. Okay, now we're gonna get on it. good torque i really do like this powertrain now obviously this powertrain feels a lot better in the nx which is a smaller vehicle but you know for the entry level powertrain for the rx it's a really good entry level powertrain it's got great torque um it, frankly it just feels really strong for four cylinder i think this might be my favorite uh turbo four cylinder that is in a crossover right now I just, I like the, I like the, not only the power figures, but just how it delivers power. The only other four cylinder that I think feels just as good as this is probably the Ford's 2.3. That one's also a really strong four cylinder as well. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's a good engine. So some things up here at the RX 350, 
i think this drives really well. and again, twenty one inch wheels, it's crazy how comfortable this is despite the fact that it has twenty one inch wheels so yeah, that's that's crazy. but yeah, it's it's comfortable um the new styling, it took a second for it to grow on me, but I, it's grown on me now. i like it i like it more than the previous version it seems like that's all new cars is they always takes a second for them to it's like they don't it's not just instant it's like it takes a second for it to grow the interior is really nice build quality is great in normal lexus fashion and yeah let me know what you guys think about the rx 350 but as the quote unquote entry level powertrain into the rx world obviously this isn't an entry level package the f sports kind of more loaded up but as the entry level powertrain i think that <laughs> it's it's a really it's a really good powertrain but let me know what you guys think